crap. Uh, <laughs> let's start that over, sorry. What's up guys, my name's Deborah. Ah, oh, crap. I'm just kidding. My name's Sarah Trapser. I'm Stephen White. And this is our workshop at Seattle Easter Swing 2019. This was um, Adventures in Basic Structures. An adventure because we are slightly altering our basic structure. Um, we started with our pushing of the sugar. So basic pushing of the sugar, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And how we altered this basic structure was the follow was being engaged in some communicatory exercises here. So it follows, I'm gonna create a little bit more pressure by creating an angle, opening up my right side, asking for a little bit more pressure in the left hand, and then asking my leader for that hand change. So as I move through, one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six. We talk about continuing that angle and keeping it, not trying to close up and apologize for the action that just happened. Come from the other side just so you can get an idea. One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six. And I'm just asking for that rotation. And I start on round count two. It's a very slight angle that I'm starting that rotation. Two and a three and a four. Right? So I'm asking the leader to create that hand change by applying a little bit more linear pressure into my left hand, his right hand. Uh, leads for this we mostly talked about for you. You're going to be trying to maintain your basic structure while having your Westy ears open and being uh, available to change your movement to whatever kind of proprioception is happening right there. So when I feel the terror is creating this angle, I'm allowing my body to match that angle without overly affecting the feel of our connection right now. Same thing when I'm going out, I'm using that angle to create the next connection. That's why I'm getting that opening action. Right. From here we did a basic free spin, so we're gonna do the cue repeat. One, two, and a three, and a four, five, and a six. We're going into that closed position. As a side note, follow just make sure we're not lifting up with the elbow, and we're oh, nice and over the bridge. Yeah. Uh, Leads, I said I'm waiting for that count four. I'm not letting my right hand get too far away. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Ideally, her passing me is what's causing me to create that closing action, and I'm gonna be anchoring into that closed position. Uh, we then went into another sugar push from this closed position. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, where Tara, again, engaged in some communication with so the important thing to remember, guys, is I'm going to lift that right hand up and put it on the leader's chest. Now, if it's a female follow or female leader, excuse me, I can put it on the shoulder as well. Um, Stephen did as an example in my head. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Unless you know them really well. Even then, I, I would say shoulder, <laughs> right, or chest area. And what I'm doing is I'm creating this compression action. So I'm going to show you without this hand. I'm creating a slight angle. It's releasing the left side as I take the right side in for this compression. I'm not thinking about sending the left side back into that connection, it's also going to accelerate my footwork and change up that rhythm structure. So as I'm moving in, I'll show you from this side first so you can see the angle. So I'm going one and a two, three and a four, five and a six. And I'm doing that just to release that side, that left side. Leaders are responding then to it, so I'm going then into an open position rather than staying into close. Now as I go from this side, as you can see, I'm going to bring this right hand up, one and a two, I'm starting to bring this up to place it on the chest, but then that compression, slight rotation there, boom, triple step, yeah? Now this angle is not gonna be an angle that I just maintain. As you can see, or not see, um, I don't want to keep it there, guys. Do I have to show you where you got it? You got it? Yeah? I don't wanna keep that hand right there. So it's an angle to release, and then on count four, I'm going more into that squared position. We talked about either keeping it closed, squared, or then opening up on that anchor step. That was your class. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. You can find me on